In this video, I will show you like how you can add icon in Figma file. To do that, first of all, you have to open your Figma project and then you have to click mouse right button and just go to here, uh, plugins into browse plugins in community. Then you have to click on here this plugins button then scroll down then you will see some option all figma design and figzam in all option as you can see we're getting some plugins and i will reinstall in a plugin it's called icon fi so you can use this plugin or it's have some more plugins i see or if you click on here this icons button then you will get like this icons all the plugins and here are some other plugins like icon 8 and content reel and uh, material design icon and font are some icon also available on here okay so whatever you want and you need you can install but i think these plugins is good because it's have almost one lock uh, one lock icons and also have another one it's like icon 8 it's also have some good icon previously i was use it when i just going to create a resume that time i use icon 8 so if you want then you can use this one also okay and a good thing of this plugin as you know that it's have this unsplash option also that means if we need something in you know later if we need something copyright free images then we can directly use unsplash for these images and it's have also remove bg option i mean remove bg plugin that means when we just need to remove something and uh, you know background that we have to go to the remove bg website then we just uh, remove the background and then we again take the image and just put in here right so if you install this plugin then you don't have to go this their website and you don't have to do anything okay so i will make another video for this how to use this if you want to watch this then please let me know in the comment section i will make different video for this and in plugin section lots of plugins available you can just try to just scroll and see whatever you need you can just install and try so let's come back to the topic again so just click mouse right button to and go to plugins and go to here iconify that we recently install and now as you can see we're getting in a pop-up and now we can just search here if here's the search icon for example you would need this code icon right so just type that you need and just type and just click on here search icon button then you will able to get this icons okay and it's if you see here the bottom it's have next option just click on this next then you will get more icon and if you click on here as you can see it's have more 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 options and just you have to choose what you basically like and what you basically want so in my case i want this icon just click on here and then you will get two options one is like import icon and others like import as a component so i'm just going to import as an icon just click on here then as you can see we're getting this icon successfully and if you see here the right side then you can change the height and weight but my recommendation try to change it uh, manually so if you want to change it then press hold uh, shift button then you will get like this uh, i mean it's called i don't know how to say it. it's called fixed i think you will get something fixed otherwise if you not press shift then you will get something that it's like uh it's not really look like responsive or it's not really good that you was wanting that it was expecting it's not like that so if you do mistake then press ctrl z and make it undo and when it's going to resize it must be hold on shift then you can directly resize this okay and then whatever you want then you can just put it down here and if you see here this is the left side it's called the layer so if you drag a dragon off at the top then it will become at the top and previously it was in a bag that's why it's not visible so i just drag and drop here in, in this top and as you can see now it's now working and moving to front or back it's up some shortcut it's called here bring to front and bring to back if you use this arrow use this button then you can directly do this so i hope guys now you understand and if you have any question about this man let let me know i will try to make different video about this and now please do, do subscribe because now i'm just doing a project i'm just designing a, a project in figma and as soon as possible i will make some video about this